so here first point is of paralysis it's site of injury one reason of the upper trunk of the brachial plexus is called orbs point six nerves meet here injury to the upper trunk causes orbs paralysis nerve roots are mainly c5 and partly c6 which are involved and the muscles which are paralyzed are mainly biceps brachii deltoid brachialis and brachioradialis and partly supraspinatus infraspinatus and supinator we can uh, uh, since this is important so we can remember by using the mnemonic such as bd's bb and c's are paralyzed from b it is biceps brachii from d it is deltoid from b it is brachialis from another b it is brachioradialis and from s it is supraspinatus from i it is infraspinatus and from s it is supinator now let's see the causes of injury on due separation of the head from shoulder during birth injury fall on the shoulder and during anesthesia now deformity and position of the limb arms hangs by the side ab adducted and medially rotated forearm are extended and pronated deformity is known as policeman's stiff hand or waiter's stiff hand or porter's stiff hand disability falling movements are lost in the case of or paralysis and they are abduction and lateral rotation of the arm at shoulder joint flexion and supination of the forearm biceps and supinator jerks are lost sensations over a small area of the lower part of deltoid are lost now let's see the injury to the nerve to serratus anterior also known as nerve of bell causes sudden pressure on the shoulder from above and uh, carrying heavy loads on the shoulder deformity is winging of the scapula disability loss of pushing and punching actions arm can be raised beyond 90 degree that is overhead abduction not possible as it is performed by serratus anterior muscle now another term which is known as clumps paralysis it is a claw hand and biceps and supinator jerks are lost which are its uh, disabilities now its site of injury is lower trunk of brachial plexus causes of injury on the abduction of the arm sometimes birth injury nerve roots involved mainly are t1 and partly is c8 muscles paralyzed are intrinsic muscles of the hand t1 and ulnar flexions of the wrist and fingers c8 we can uh, remember the muscles paralyzed in case of clumps paralysis by using a mnemonic such as mu from m it is muscles from i it is intrinsic muscles of the hand and from it is, from u it is ulnar flexions of the wrist and fingers so what is orbs point it is the point of region of the upper trunk of the brachial plexus where six nerves 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six nerves meet here and the nerve roots which are involved in orbs point paralysis are root c5 mainly and partly c6 so injury to the upper trunk causes orbs paralysis now in the case of orbs paralysis of right hand this deformity is known as policeman stiff hand or waiter stiff hand or porter stiff hand this is important and now the disabilities in the disabilities the movements are lost are abduction and uh, lateral rotation of the arm at shoulder joint flexion and supination of the forearm biceps and supinator jerks are lost and sensation over a small area 
over the lower part of the deltoid are lost so here we finished about the clinical anatomy of the axilla please like share and subscribe for more videos thank you